Okay, so I um, bought this faulty controller off eBay for like five bucks. That's not including shipping. Shipping was about ten for registered and tracking and all that bull. Now, the problem with this controller is that the, I think one of the joysticks has that drift issue. I reckon it's uh, on the one on the right. So right now I'm gonna have a quick check. Now, I reckon it's a pretty common problem with these controllers because uh, I bought that uh, this one and it had the same problem and I fixed it with ease so I thought I might as well do another one. Having I always wanted to get a red one as well for, for cheap, I'm not paying like, what was it, 80 bucks I saw it used online. Alright, let's see. Whoops. All right, as you can see here, the one of the joysticks is fault, it's the right joystick. I think it crashed. Here it is. And I think it's the right joystick that's faulty. Yeah, the Y axis is faulty. Right there, just automatically decreases. Signaling that the joystick is drifting upwards. Upwards. Besides that, the controller completely works, besides, you know, the joystick issue. Buttons are being pressed, these two are working. So it should be a quick, easy fix. Alright, let's start by, I think, what was it, Take this, taking this stuff off? The grips? No, take this. There you go. There you go, pop that right off. Move that over there. So I think there are like what one, two, three, four, five screws. I think if I have the screwdriver for it still. Yep. Where is it? No, this is way too big. Yeah, it's one of those security torque screws because it's one of those ones that have a little pointy bit in the middle. So I would need, you know, like the. Remember how online years ago there was that Xbox 360 kit, a red ring of death kit where you get like some soldering, some bolts and screws and a couple of screwdrivers. You need one of those screwdrivers. I think it's a T5. Alright, got a little, got the screwdriver, it's this little blue one. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Do, do. And there you go. Done. Ah, looks nice and clean inside of it. You know, a bit dusty, but other than that, it's pretty fine. All right. Bring that over there. Just keep it somewhere safe. Now, how far do I need to go in? All right. Looks like I just need to take this backboard off. And I'll have access to the the right joystick. So build screw. Oh, I mean smaller. First go, correct screwdriver tip. I don't know. I have to just push this through. There you go. Uh, just the uh, the three point five millimeter jack came out. Let me take this off. There you go. Left, right, oh. So it'll be this one. Right, yep. This one, what was wrong with it? The Y, so I have to take off this little, this little, um, what do you call it? Little sensor bit, this little part. Now what I have to do is pop the side bit off. Now you have to be very careful because if you break the clip, then it won't be able to fit back on and it will give misreadings and stuff. You'll think, you know, the joystick is at 7 degrees when it's actually at 20 degrees or some crap like that. Now I need to pop this off by putting something f like flat into a little gap. Be using this little flat tip. Hopefully it doesn't break anything. I just have to be very, very careful. 
There you go, in. That didn't break anything. Yeah. All I have to do is push it a bit. Oh, come on, baby. There you go. I have to get that little bit. Oh, let's see if anything. Any of the cables broken? No. Nope. Nope. All right. What I have to do is there's this bit of um plastic, a little bit of black plastic. I have to get that out and clean that essentially. You can also desolder that sensor. Okay, got it out now. Move that away. That's funny. Um, push that down a bit. There. This is a little sensor you think you have to clean up. It's tiny. That's the sensor thing. A bit of metal that you have to clean up. What I need to do is now get like a, what do you call those cotton bud things? Those ear cleaners that aren't actually ear cleaners. I'm going to use this instead. Where is it? Bit of um, hand sanitizer, not hand sanitizer, medical wipes. Uh, contaminant. There it is. Got scared, I thought of. Oh, that was dirty. Hold on, let me just wipe this around. Oh, let me show it. There you go. It was filthy. It was a filthy little muppet, weren't you? Damn, they're nasty. Hold on. It's messed up. It would have been easier if I had the alcohol. Um... Alright, so I found a hand sanitizer. Ooh, it's a bit jelly, so what I'll do is just put some on this. And I'll clean it. Finally enough, it's working. Why are my fingers being turning yellow? What the hell? Oh, that's creepy. Next minute, my liver's failing or something. Alright. Let's see. I reckon it was easy just to use this. Done. Anyway, now we need to clean inside the actual um, sensor bit. Because obviously the two would have been rubbing against each other. Rubbing against each other, you know, dirt on dirt action. So, Alright, let's see. Let's use a bit of this now. Shove it into the gap. That's what I'm doing. And yep, yeah, it's dirty as. Look at that, it's filthy. It's bloody filthy in there. Yeah, how far can I actually push this forward? I don't want to, no, I think that's enough. Right. You know what? I think actually one of these wipes would do. Oh, where did the little patch of. Oh, here we go. Sanitizer. There. Now what I'm going to do is shove it in with a screwdriver. There you go. Oh, it's working. Funnily enough. Obviously I'm sticking in the clean side in there. I'm not putting in the uh, filthy side. Do I have another earbud thing? Hold on, can I fit? Yeah. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'll make it even easier. I'll unfold it. So it'll be flatter. There you go, look at that. Pretty little tornado. Pull that out. It's getting clean, so what I'm now going to do... Flip it. Put it back in. But then do it on the other side. Alright, 
Let's see if this now works. Let's put this back together again. Now this was facing upwards. You know the um, the little lump in the middle. See this this way is up because how how it bends and curves. And the bottom bit is at the bottom, obviously. So putting it in should be this way. Sorry for the bad footage. I can't really any closer than that. So what I have to do is carefully place it in. Do I have like needle nose here? Yeah. I should. Not needle nose, what do you call them? Uh, tweezers. Because I don't want to break this. Fitting. Nope. It's rejecting. Well, see, so you have to be careful on the right side it bend. Yeah, I need to do a bit of an alignment. There. Now push it in. There you go. It's in. Does it spin? Yes, it does. Look at that. I won't like reconnect everything. I'll just see if this actually works and if the sensor is fixed. I'll take this damn thing off. There you go. Move it out in front. There you go. All right, let's connect the USB cable. Gets to up. Is it working? It's not working. I think it might need more of a cleaning because right now it's um it's slowly fading to the middle point. No, it's slowly fading all the way to the left. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to be cleaning it out again. Gentle, gentle. Yolo. Fuck this. There. If I move everything close, there. Yeah. Highly doubt that would do anything, but let's just check if it did anything at all. Screw it, I'm desoldering it. I'm desoldering it. So. What I ended up doing was I ended up desoldering the entire sensor. So now I'm either going to replace this entire thing, clean it, then put it back in again, or yeah, again, like what I just said, um, replace the entire thing. It's still dirty. I think that's why I wasn't working. It's still fucking dirty. You know what? I'm not using this. I'm using. Medical white. Whoop. Can't believe I had to desolder it because normally you can easily just, you know, pop off, clean this up, and it'll be fine. But it seems like it was. The tracks were filthy. Put that in. This is a brand new sheet. Pop that off. Oh, I can't see it. So apparently this is still somewhat dirty. It's just still a little dirt. That's why I'm using this, um, we call it cotton bud stick thing. So I can get into its little tracks and everything. Whoop. All right, that's done. Let's do this one. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to solder in another one. All right, let's do this. Now let's put these two together. So The weird curvy bit is at the top. Oh, wait a minute. I think I found a problem. The track is bent. 
Maybe that's why it wasn't working. Alright, now let's put this back on. Like this. There. Now it should fit. All right, it's in. Now let's do this. So now I need to. Then now push this in. All right. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna replace the entire. I'm uh, not entire. This little bit. Nothing else I could really do. Normally it would work, but I don't know why. It's been a bloody wanker. Boards in. Is this it? Yep. Where's my phone? You, you guys have to see this. You guys have to see this. It's working. It's not decreasing or increasing. It's stationary. Hands gone. Hold on. Let me do it like this. Now do it again. Yep, it's fine now. Uh, right. It's jammed on max. Hold on, let me move the control there. See, it's jammed. Let go. And nothing. It's not moving. And that's what I'm trying to get. Since it doesn't move, it won't, you know, do the whole drift. Well, the only thing to do now is to resolder it, put it back together again, and then have a test at it. So literally I went through a couple of my camera batteries because um, they're dead. And what I'm going to do is resolder everything. Looks like I broke a trace on it. Right here, this will peel a bit of the trace off, but it still connects and everything, so it's fine. I'll just put a big blob of solder on it, but for now, what I'm going to do is put this slow oxing back in Let me see. done now I'm just waiting for my soldering iron to heat up if it doesn't work or something I could easily just you know find out where this trace goes and solder it there so it's not really of, of a problem but it is going to be annoying Let's see. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. This is going to be the tricky one. My hands are shaking like crazy. Done. We'll shake it about during testing to make sure it doesn't um, disconnect or break or whatever. After that's done, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? I need to flip it out. I right, connect this, the little Wi Fi cable, the little like, Bluetooth antenna, whatever it is. All right, um, let's see. You know, I saved quite a lot over the years by buying faulty faulty controllers and fixing them. That's probably what I'm going to continue doing with like the new consoles and stuff. It may be like, what's the word, tedi not tedious? Yeah, I think it might, I think I am thinking of the word tedious. Anyway, um, it may be long and um, what's the word, um, co somewhat complicated, but you know, in the end you learn something new about, you know, technology and at the same time you like save a couple of bucks. Like, I think I've spent at least a total of, let's say, 30, no, 40 Australian. This includes um, three different controllers, the parts, and, 
yeah, that's it. The joysticks are like cheap because I used to replace the entire thing, but then you know, just learned that you can clean them. There's plenty of better YouTube videos out there which kind of like explains, does proper zoom ins and stuff. Oh, that doesn't go there. Alright, that's. So now I need two screws to hold down the board, which will be these two. Oh man, I need. I found it. This, um. Move the negative cable. So I might solder on this. Not soldered, that's screwed on. And it's fun fixing things I find enjoyable and stuff. Like sometimes you can actually find a really good bargain. Like sometimes they'll say it is faulty, but in the end, it completely works. That's how I got my first Xbox One. They said it was completely faulty. Like oh, they can't turn it on or anything. But then when I ended up getting it. It I only needed like the ribbon cable of the front panel reconnected. That's in. So and that came with everything, like a controller, the console power brick, you know, that didn't come with the box. Oh, there you go. Um now you put the front face on. Oh yeah, I need to clean this. Alright, inside is grey, it's just the, the casing is a bit dirty. Got my toothbrush, where is where's my toothbrush? It's not my actual toothbrush, it's my cleaning brush. And I'll just use a bit of hand sanitizer. Blah. Oh, how does this work? Oh yeah. Slightly wet, but it looks good. I'll just get rid of any little bit of it. Now, where's the back? I'll do the back next. I need more of this deliciousness. I lost my um, medical, what do you call it, those medical, alcoholic medic, my five litre medical, alcoholic, I can't even say it, what do you call them, um, you know, those med uh, medical liquids, um, alcohol, iso, I can't pronounce it, iso, 99% pure alcohol, whatever it's called, medical, for medical stuff and all that jazz, ha ha he he he, that's what I mean, now let's just do that back. Looks good, looks clean. Alright, so what came first? The faceplate. Yep, now the back. But just in case of uh, anything, I need disconnected. Everything's on. Move the Bluetooth antenna. Whatever it is. <laughs> oh, I'm putting this in wrong, aren't I? Let me just take this screw out, it's annoying me. Alright. There you go. It's in. Don't know how that worked, but it worked. And now, put the faceplate on. There you go, looks nice and clean, looks new. 
I'll put in the center screw in so I can test do the testing and stuff, you know, see if it's see it's properly working. Alright, that's in. Alright. Squeeze in my hand, feels good. Yep, yep, yep. Now let's see if this works properly. Connected, lit up. So it is now being detected by Windows. Oh yeah. Yay. So as well, it sticked out was faulty, but now it's working fine. Yep. Let's play some games. Fallout 4, I'm testing out quickly. Yeah, 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 whatever. Search to Ultra 800p. I mean, 800 by 600. So I don't, I don't really play in full screen mode unless you know, I'm actually like laying in bed or something. I'm gonna set up my phone so it records <laughs> gameplay footage. <laughs> so bodgy. Hold on, I'm inside somewhere. I gotta get out. All right. Seems to be working fine. Yep, seems fine. Sorry for the poor quality uh, footage right there, but... Oh no! Ah! But yeah, works fine. Oh damn, it's best to leave the damn. There, yeah, works fine. Anyway, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, check out my other videos. All I have to do is just put this, all I have to do is just put this um, controller back together again, which is only going to take me a second.